It's me, Mario! What is up guys, MNL Toys here with another toy review video and today we are opening up the brand new Walgreens exclusive Purple Toad which is a part of the newest Walgreens wave that was only found just a few days ago so this might be the first Purple Toad review on YouTube and if you first notice this looks more pink than purple so this is part of the newest Walgreens wave I hope you guys saw my video of me talking about it so let's look at other figures that we have in this wave we have the Mario with his hands up, Red Koopa Troopa Trophy Piranha Plant, Lemmy Koopa, Boo, Purple Toad, Yellow Yoshi with the correct color feet, and Fire Running Luigi. Before we open this guy up, I would like to mention, obviously, he is an exclusive. We have a bunch of different things saying it in different languages, but this packaging is different. So here to the side, I have the Magic Koopa from the previous wave. Now, you can see the box is different because look at the bottom here. You see, this is just like the 4-inch box where it's curved at the bottom. So this is just something I noticed. It's like a shrunk-down version of the 4-inch box, except for this part isn't cut out where Mario is. And you can see that this new box, and I also noticed this when I went to Walgreens, I saw Red Koopa Trooper there, uh, had the same box as this. Uh, there's actually less space inside. So you see how there's a gap right here between this right here on both sides? The older packaging for Walgreens, and I believe uh, the, all the other blisters, has a gap on this side, but not this side. So, there's less space now in the new packaging, which is just something interesting I wanted to point out. Alright, well now, let's open this guy up. So, here is the purple toad. So, I used a box cutter for this one. Now, it looks a little bit weird than in person. It looks a lot more pink in person. Uh, you can definitely see the pink spots, especially because of this glare right here. But, uh, yeah, so here he is. Now, it's just like a normal toad, but it is pink this time. So, yeah, uh, the camera makes it look really purple. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. The back vest, it, it, it is purple. The back vest is definitely purple. I think the vest, the reason why they call this purple toad, I think, is because of the vest. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my camera's picking this up really weird and making it actually look purple. Uh, which I guess is what it's supposed to do, but, yeah, this is definitely more pink in person. But the vest on the back, I would say, is definitely more purple than pink. I think they call this purple toad because of the vest. Uh, the spots are definitely pink, but, uh, yeah. I'll try to take a picture of this with my camera, or, right here. I posted this on my Instagram, this picture right here. Uh, it shows a better picture of the spots, because... Uh, my camera's picking them up so weird. So my toad right here has a little bit of difficulty standing. When I try to, like, stand it, he definitely leans back. I have to be very careful with it to try to get it to stand. So, yeah, the bottom says Jack's China. So now let's look at articulation. It's the same as most of them. So we know that this arm moves. These arms are still the same. See, this arm is very popped out. Very, very, like, loose. Th those are, like, the kind of material that toad arms are. Wow, this uh, arm is super loose. As you can see, it's, like, popping out so much. I can just pop it back in there uh yeah the toad arms are very loose i don't know why they make the toad arms like this uh it's very weird like it makes it very flimsy and easy to fall off i don't know why they didn't make it hard plastic like any other character but yeah this is like one of my favorite toad positions then you can also move his head uh this one this head articulation is very smooth and i like how there's not a gap between the neck and the head so yeah the vest is definitely purple. The spots are definitely pink. Uh, the camera makes it look purple and is doing Jack's justice in calling this purple toad, but the spots are definitely pink. Yeah, this toad is very good looking. I like this one a lot. So here are all the color toads that I have. I've got the regular one, the green one, which I got from the calendar along with the regular one, and then I also have the blue one, which I did a video on, all different colors. They look very nice together, and I really like them. They're super cool. The toads, you know, they're simple figures, but they look very nice. Yeah, this angle right here, you can definitely tell with the lighting that it is pink. So the reason why this is called Purple Toad rather than Pink Toad is because of Nintendo, not because of Jax. Now, Jax went off of the Super Mario Run model, as you can see some screenshots here of the Purple Toad sitting, and you know that's not Purple Toad because Pink Toads don't exist in that game. Uh, Purple Toad just looks pink. That's just how it is. And strangely, it will actually vary per what device you're watching this video on. Some people will see this picture look more pink, and some will see it look more purple. Final thoughts on this, it's a great figure. I like the color. It's definitely more clean. You, you can see this little spot on the hand. That does not really bother me at all. And yeah, the vest itself is definitely purple. Because this is like a pink-purple vest right here. The spots are like pink. My camera's picking them up as the same.
same exact color, but trust me, the spots are way more pink than the camera shows. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been MNL Toys doing the Purple Toad Walgreens exclusive. So this guy, uh, you definitely want to get this this one. People are going to be selling this for expensive because it's an exclusive. But uh, yeah, you should be able to find it in stores. I found it only two days or three days after it was released. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been MNL Toys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And have an amazing day, you all.